This is here now. They replaced her wedding band with a fingertip pulse reader. She is a node in a new social network. Her friends have moved out of her head and into her address book. Into her address book. Where did she put her? Out of her address book, into a heart rate monitor by the side of her bedside. She would visit them if she could, but she no longer leaves the house. They replace her laugh with a feeding tube. You don't know whether to tell her jokes because they are no longer situated somewhere she can reach them. You throw her a punch line, 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 but she doesn't reach to catch it. She would play ball if she could, but right now you are her goalkeeper. You keep it in your diary and tell it back to her as if this alone will remind her the rules of the sport she doesn't know she played. They replace her watch with an IV drip. Your first paycheck lies beside the flowers and the capsules and you wish time capsule back to when time was something she could check, check, Check when she didn't have to worry with bounce, not enough balance, not enough core strength. You want to be that IV drip. You want to be that liquid that courses through her brain, but you are so far removed from this web of wires and tubes, this matrix of her. They replace her home with a home. You have been left in the photo frames of the letters, the room she has refused to change since you were 11, the television she always calls you about, the television you rolled your eyes about because she couldn't switch on. If her whole world could just fit into this surgical mask, these latex gloves, this plastic bed sheet, this adult diaper, if you could have just been small enough to fit into that wedding band, that laugh, that watch, that home, that home, that home, that home, that home. she is home, you are at the door, holding on to an IV drip she doesn't know she needs. 